Hola mi gente, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and this is We Are Investing, a channel that's dedicated in investing and personal finance. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Webull on your desktop for trading stocks. I'm gonna show you my personal preference and how I set up Webull for myself, but we're going to go over the steps. I'm gonna show you what Webull has so that you can tailor it towards what you like to see and your preferences. Now, if this channel or this video provides any value to you, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell, and smashing that like button. In addition, if you wanna sign up with Webull, use the affiliate link down below in the video description. If you deposit 100 US dollars, you will get six free stocks valued up to $12,600 but you have to use the link down below. If you already have Webull, that is cool too. We have videos regarding Webull. There's a separate playlist, so maybe there's some value for you there. Check it out if you have the time. But with that being said, let's hop into the video. Let's hop on over to the computer so I can show you how I personally set up Webull for myself. We're gonna start from scratch. We're gonna go over all the gadgets and the widgets and how to create your own setup for trading stocks on Webull. And this can also apply to cryptocurrencies. So let's do it. All right, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Webull on your desktop for trading stocks and cryptos. I'm gonna show you how I personally do it. We're gonna go over the widgets and you're free to customize it as you see fit. Now, everything that you're gonna do is on this customized tab. And as you notice, there are some presets, some standard ones. You can roll with those if you want, but if you wanna create your own and kind of see some of the features Webull has to offer, we're gonna start from scratch and we're just gonna hit blank layout. Now I'm gonna bang through this pretty quickly, um, but if you have any questions, if I didn't cover anything, uh, just comment down below with your questions or you can join the Patreon and ask me on the Discord server. So everything's done here through widgets. Um, you have the quotes tab, the trade, stocks, general, and market. We're just gonna get started by setting this up the way that I like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show three charts. So I'm gonna click on this three times, and then I'm gonna organize them on the screen the way that I like to see them. And that's one stock on the left, bigger, and then two stocks on the right, or two charts on the right. So let me do that real quick. All right, these are my three charts. Now I'm gonna set them up the way that I like them. They're all going to be showing the same ticker, but they're gonna show different time frames, different moving averages, and different indicators. Now the chart on the left is for bigger picture, longer term. So we're looking at a daily candle, weekly candles, or monthly candles. I like to start off by taking a look at the one year, one day. So that's what I have shown here. And then I like to see RSI on the daily or whatever I'm using this for, if it's monthly or weekly. And it doesn't need to be that large so you can reduce the size by clicking and dragging. Now I'm gonna get rid of this moving average and what I wanna see on this longer period is I wanna see longer moving averages. So what we're gonna show is we're gonna click on indicators, go to EMA. Now I have an EMA shown, which is an exponential moving average. It's a moving average that is smoothed out. We're gonna change the length to 200 day and I'm gonna change that to like a light bluish color. And I'm gonna hit done. So there's my 200 day EMA. And I also like to take a look at the 50 day, 100 day and 150 day moving average. So I'm gonna click on moving average. I'm gonna to go to my settings here. Uh, for my inputs, we wanna see the 50 day, 100 day, 150 day. The styles, we're gonna have all of those selected. And I'm gonna change this to like a yellow, okay, and done. Now I have all of my moving averages shown. If you don't know what the colors are, it's shown here on the left. You can refer back to that always. That wraps it up for this one. Now on the other chart, which I want to be the one minute chart, we can get rid of that moving average. And all I wanna see here is VWAP. So we go to indicators and then I add VWAP which is the volume weighted average price. And this is only used for intraday trading. So only look at it for one day's time. And if a stock is above VWAP, that means there's bullish momentum. If, stops, if a stock's below VWAP, that means that there's bearish momentum. 
And then this chart down here, down below, which is going to be the five minute chart, but we can also use the 30 minute or one hour. This one's going to uh, be a flexible chart, depending on what I wanna look at. I'm gonna get rid of everything. All I wanna take a look at is price action for that chart. Now that I have my chart set up, I want them to be linked together or grouped together. So what we're going to do is we're gonna set this as a group and it's going to be a cross group. Now I'm just gonna pick cross group nine for this uh, example, because I don't have that set up anywhere. And now you can see that they're all grouped together. Now we're gonna add a widget over here to the left. We're gonna add two widgets. So we're gonna go to add widgets. We're gonna look at quote. I'm gonna bring that over here to the left and pan and then just make that the right size. Perfect, now I have that where I need it to be. And it's also grouped at, at uh, group number nine. And then we're gonna add times and sales to this list as well. I'm gonna click and drag and put that over there. Now I can look at the quote and times and sales. And then I'm gonna click on the order book. And I'm gonna add that as well, click and drag. So now I got those three things there. And that wraps it up for the quotes now I'm not gonna have anything for trade. This is your personal preference. You can set it up the way that you want. But me personally, I like to execute my orders, submit my trades, close out of my positions, take a look at my P&L on my phone, on my desktop. This is all I'm gonna have. And I don't wanna have too much things in front of me right here. I'd rather have it on my mobile device, but that's me personally. If you wanted to add things like your order entry, your P&L, your positions, you could do so here on the trade tab. Now the other stuff, the stocks, the general, and the market, we're gonna set up on a different layout. And what we're going to do is we're going to have two layouts that we can switch between real quickly. But the purpose of this layout is to do our technical analysis. So we just wanna see charts and a little bit of information like the 52 week low, quotes, and then times and sales in the order book to try to help us get into a good position. Once you're done with your layout, you can rename it to whatever you want. So I'm gonna call this YouTube TA. And then you can save as a customized layout. Let me just capitalize that U and we can save it. So the next thing is I wanna create my next layout and this layout is going to be, the purpose of this layout is going to be to try to filter through stocks quickly. So to create a new layout, you're just gonna hit that new layout button. We're gonna hit blank layout. But what I already have set up is search. And here we go. This is what I want to show you so that way you can quickly filter through stocks. Now what I did is I added the widgets for the screener. I added the widgets for the top stocks, the active stocks, the ind industry, the advanced decline, and the index chart over here on the top right. And then watch list here on the bottom right. So if we go to add widgets, we go to general, here's our watch list and here's our screener. My watch list is on the bottom right, my screener is on the bottom left, and it's this big portion here. This is all my screener. Then if we go to market, this is where a lot of the other stuff is. Top gainers, most, most active, the industries, the advanced decline, distribution, the index chart, that's all from that generals tab. Now what I need to do to set it to be linked to the other uh, uh, layout is I need to change the group to nine. I'm gonna do this for all of them. So now, the reason why I like to do this is I'll break this out into a separate screen. So if you left click here, you can detach this window. And now it's a separate thing. I can close out of here. So essentially what I have is the TA and if I hover over my Weeble icon, I have my search. Now, if you're working off of two screens, you can put this on a different screen. If you're not working off of two screens, you can have it how we had before, where it's just right here and you can click through different ones. Like if I was to hit new layout and I was to go back to that YouTube TA, now I have them right here and I can quickly go through them. And I'm just gonna proceed like this for now as if you only had one screen. 
Now, what's really powerful about having this search tab and this YouTube TA tab is you can quickly go through your sc uh, screeners and your watch list. For example, if I want to take, take a look at Starbucks, which is on my watch list, all I have to do is click it. And now I'm going to take a look at the charts. If you have them separated by the two screens, you have your search tab on one screen and your technical analysis tab on the other, you can quickly go through your screener or your watch list to take a look at stocks. For example, if I wanted to take a look at some screeners, and let's say that I looked at the dippers screener that I have set up, and these are stocks that have been falling. And I wanted to take a look at Barrick Gold, which is ticker symbol G-O-L-D. Here I am taking a look at Barrick Gold. It's I got everything I need right in front of me. I have the longer picture with this daily chart, and you can obviously see that this stock has had a lot, a lot of downward pressure. And it is very low on the RSI, but I don't see any support here. So what I can do is I could take a look at the weekly chart and instead move this back. And you can see that there's a clear support here at around $15, which is where the stock is trading right now. I can also take a look at the monthly to see if there's anything better. And I can do my technical analysis by taking a look at the stock off of different time frames, longer periods of times, depending on what I see as support and resistance. Then depending if I wanted to get into a quick trade, a day trade, then I would look at this one minute chart or this five minute chart to see when a good entry would be. If I was looking to get into a longer trade, like a swing trade, then I would change this to a one hour chart and maybe this one to the five minute. But once you use something that is no longer intraday, this VWAP cannot be used. So you just have to keep that in mind. So I'm going to go back to the original setting that I have. Heading back to the search tab, you can quickly go through stocks just by clicking on them. For instance, I currently have a trade on Verizon right now thinking that the stock is going to rebound. It's a short term trade. Today, the stock was up 0.7% and after hours, it's down 0.25%. The stock fell hard off of earnings and I'm playing a potential swing based off of support on the weekly chart. If we look at the weekly chart, you can see that the stock broke down right here and we kind of tested that and bounced back. So I'm hoping that this stock this week will bounce back a little bit and it'll be a nice trade. It might not work out that way, but that's why I got in. I use charts like this to do my technical analysis to try to identify opportunities. And being able to use your screener along with your technicals in sync like this, it's what makes trading easy, fast, and efficient so that you can try to find those opportunities that are really good for you, that have high risk to reward ratios, and that will make you a better trader over time. All right, mi gente, that wraps it up for this video. I thank you so much for your time. Do not forget about that affiliate link with Webull down below where you can get free stocks valued up to $12,600. If you're looking for trade alerts and you want to support this channel even more, you can do so by joining the Patreon. A link is down below. It's less than a Starbucks a month. It's only $5. And in that channel or that Discord server, you're going to be notified on all of my trades. We're going to have discussions regarding investing and trading in the markets. And you are going to learn from others because it's a community where we learn together, grow together, and make money together. And it's only $5. But with that being said, I thank you so much for your time. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. And this is We Are Investing, and together we are invincible. See ya!